Yo, check out the Today in AZ After Show if you can see us. My videos page won't load. It doesn't say that we're, we we're on the internet television. Gabe said we are. But I trust Gabe. But I uh, trust. Producer Jeff hanging out in the booth. Howdy. Uh, Director Craig pushing the buttons. JQ showing up late with his coffee, as is tradition. What are you eating, beef jerky? Yeah, that's is that the jerky. spicy oh. or the sweet? Who brought it? Did you bring it, Vanessa? No. <laughs> she always brings food she doesn't want at I home. I do. Oh, by the way, there was a mouse that had been sitting back behind Ew. the weather center for a long time. Ew. Did anyone bring jerky in? Mickey. What's it? Hmm? There's two flavors <laughs> back there. So I knew there was a, kind of a rancid flavor to yeah. it. But. Oh back God, in the old days, the yeah. Pilgrims, did you ever read their voyage? They'd eat like, you know, 30 day old moldy cheese. And mm. They call that blue cheese. It's delicious. Yeah, cheese is mold. This is protein for you. It's good stuff, man. I can you feel know, I could. Mm. A muscle. I know, did you see blue too? <laughs> <laughs> like, what? She leaned in like she saw blue on it, and so did I. I go, oh, is that blue? <laughs> was, it, was it the gray lamb? <laughs> did I just read her mind? <laughs> It's a rainbow did you of see colors, that? beef jerky. Kind of gray. Did you see blue? Uh, this show's not about beef jerky. No. Um, no. But then it again, it, should be. it's very much like Seinfeld in that generally they're, they're, we don't really stick to a topic. Show it's about show nothing. About nothing. Yeah. Uh, this morning we are going to talk about something, most notably work in your wardrobe. We want to hear from you. What's appropriate to wear to the office? Goldman Sachs recently relaxed its dress code. This is one of those big like financial companies sure. where you're expecting to see someone in suits and ties yeah. everywhere. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Uh, no surprise, social media, a fan of a more casual daily dress code, hoodies and sneakers, if you ask the people online. So we want to know what's okay to wear to work. I, I think that's too relaxed. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I don't think you need um, to go to the other extreme. Right. So just a nice polo maybe with some slacks. You know, you don't have to wear like a suit. Yeah, we'll do polos and, and slacks here if we're out, you know, reporting something in the field or, or something of that nature. But I'll say this, when I'm in a studio, I don't like wearing a polo shirt. I think that's weird. Like, I need to have a dress shirt on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, in studio. I think on air, different rules. Different yeah, like, let's job, leave yeah. us out of this. Yeah, yeah cause I, but, but <laughs> even our dress coats have been relaxed a fair amount. The guys on ESPN all wear, like, designer sneakers now Red instead of dress shoes. Oh, are a lot of guys don't wear ties. Sneakers? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's no. cool. Yeah, I don't think you need the whole, like, three-piece I, I like, I like uh, I informal dress-up. So, I mean, you're right. Wear a collared shirt. You know, wear, wear, wear some nice uh, dress shoes or something, you know, for your office. And you can still and mix that with jeans. So I, yeah, I don't like. The, I don't want the sweats. In the yeah, and I don't want to see anybody wearing like cut off jeans to work, whether it's men or women. You know what You're I mean? Are you talking about jorts? Right. I've never referred to them as that, but if that is jean what, shorts, yeah, jorts, jorts. Um, yeah. No. How about the one? How about the ones that I would bring? The, the big baggy ones with like the all the cargo shorts. Cargo shorts. The big, no, the no. cargo jeans. <laughs> cargo jeans. Paul's like, no. wait a minute, wait a minute. Come on, Paul. You can trash. Anything about <laughs> me cargo my personal shorts. life, but you start what? treading on my cargo shorts, we have problems. I feel like cargo shorts are only okay in certain scenarios when toddlers are around and you need snacks. You're over fifty, and, <laughs> and you're you're hiking and you're you're packing heat and also snacks. But for I feel a lot of men mostly for snacks. Like snacks. Cargo shorts are their go-to. Like if you go anywhere, like if you go to the grocery store and you see all the men, they're wearing like cargo shorts. Have you, they got keys, wallet, phone. Have you ever worn cargo shorts? It's oh. been probably you often years. carry a purse, right? I do, yeah, Both of you ladies. Yeah. And fanny packs are in style. Now. I Imagine fanny. being a man a fanny. who has two options: fanny packs or cargo shorts. Okay, I choose cargo choices. shorts because I got stuff to put in. I can't carry a purse. That's not a weird. European carry. No, no, that's not happening. <laughs> backpacks but I do are trendy wallet, now. Wallet, keys, phones. Yeah, but you can't go into stores with backpacks and stuff. Cargo <laughs> shorts can go anywhere. Puffy shirts are back. The puffy too. shirts. I like the puffy shirts. It's very, very <laughs> nice. It's be comfortable, yeah. but it's also formal. It's, you know. You know, go ahead, sorry. I think um, people in the real estate business, think people in the financial business, I think they, it, it helps them with their job to dress. Credibility. Like, and th that's the right trusting. word. Right. Yeah. Because I think you're, you're representing something based yeah. upon the way you look. And Absolutely. I think if, if your real estate agent shows up in a hoodie and has yeah, a shave in a like, week, you're like, wait a second. Here's, here's the problem. We just saw that nice uh, image with yeah. the, the, the black hoodie and it's the nice model. fitted jeans. Well, that's the thing is people aren't going to show up in that. They're going to show up with their, their college sweatshirt. Right. What is Andy Bernard? <laughs> with the says? mustard stain Cornell. on it. You know? <laughs> with, with, yeah, stain. I'm not getting rid of my mustard stain. Because you don't, you don't want to throw in the washer. It takes up too much room. I've been there. Oh, yeah. And then you they know? shrink kind of weird, too. I don't yeah. like to wash my hoodies because they, they shrink up. You get 
Well, they're tough I feel, to dry. Yeah, I don't, it's a little claustrophobic in there. I don't like putting it over my head. Let's get to the people. Lana says mini skirts are now being it. measured. What's the what's the length in high school? I think it had to be you a to, hand's length. If you stood up, it had to be to your thumbs. So if you stood up, you right, had to be right, this, right. put your arms down, and your skirt had to be to your thumbs at least. Okay, Which, that makes sense. That's I, still very I, short. I think that's kind of short. Yeah, as you, you know? can see, we've got the modest. You've got very short arms, though, I think. <laughs> Not, that's not untrue. <laughs> is that real leather or pleather? This is pleather. Man, that looks great. Doesn't that look great? <laughs> look, I mean, I'd like a pair of pants like it's that. From, it's, it's from it's a fake cow. Yeah. <laughs> you know, breathe. Yeah, though, that's cool looking. Yeah, it's from a fake cow. Thanks. Uh, Marianne says it depends on what sort of Vegan. job you have. <laughs> Um, Rebecca said no mini skirts and right. low cut see through tops. Wrangler jeans and a nice camo shirt, says Bruce. But then nobody can see you, Bruce. <laughs> Did anyone see Bruce today? <laughs> Bruce hasn't come to work in a week. <laughs> you know, um, Becky says sometimes you have no choice but to wear sneakers due to diabetic nerve pain. Uh, you know what? I think that there are probably special instances in which you, you know you should be allowed. And you know what? Look at look at the studies that come out that say you know women have all these you know. Um, Feet issues, foot issues, because they're wearing high heels their entire oh, lives. Yeah. Bunions. Then, yeah, and then they got all, right, and then they got all kinds of problems Ugh. later. Hammer toe. <laughs> and surgery. You know all about weird foot ailments, don't you? Oh. And grown toenails. But her feet look so nice in those high heels. Yeah, well, yeah. Oh. That's true. My mom's an esthetician, and she, you know, she started off doing hair, nails, and so she's been on her feet. <laughs> it's better than T-Rex arms like I have. She like she could climb trees. Oh, Rachel, oh, Rachel wears the shortest dresses in the office because her arms are only a foot long. <laughs> crazy. Down to yeah. my hands. You know, you want to look appropriate. And I think yeah. it just depends on the job, you know? It's yeah, the, somebody said that too. Melissa, uh, Melanie kidding. said that. Well, it's true. <laughs> when you're a construction worker and you show up with a die. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Or you're a construction worker and you show up in your fishnets. Oh. Again, very weird. Yeah. Don't do that. Yeah. Police yeah. officers, uh, they wear clip-on ties. Do you know why? Why? Because if they're getting arrested, this is a noose. Oh. So if the guy grabs them, son choking them, it pops That's off. That's a fun what? fact. I did not even know that. Oh yeah. Wait, what I is? Don't know can, that my dad what is this on our TV? Did a car crash CHP, into CHP, California house? Highway Patrol. They were. Oh there. yeah. Oh yeah. Hey, Steady Cam Michael, yeah. show what we're looking at here. I don't know what this is. It seems like a situation. It's new. It looks like a new accident. What situation? Vehicle went into a home. Look at. Right it's somewhere on Bethany because I saw this sign saying. Oh, this Bethany. is local. Yeah. Oh, geez. Hopefully, well, no uh, one's injured. These Steve, are interesting stories. That, have. that is that a sale price on the corner of that house there? Two hundred thousand. <laughs> yeah, Seriously. What do you do? So, if these people move okay, we're gonna get door. this information and share it with you because it's inside the house. We'll have the details probably. Yeah. All right, Mikey, let's turn corners. away because who knows what could happen there? We don't want to scare anybody on Facebook with a yeah. breaking news. Yeah, a jaguar could jump out and a it. We, can, we don't want to see a live jaguar attack on. Okay, here. listen real quick before we get to our next topic. Uh, we have two great comments that I really need to address oh. because th this is going to spark the debate. Oh. Erica, no yeah. yoga pants, she says. Mm -hmm. so oh. Let's talk about yoga pants first. Okay. Ladies, I defer to you. All Ladies. Right. I have yoga Ladies. pants. Go ahead. Go ahead. Defer to us. When um, are yoga pants acceptable? Um, working out. Mm -hmm. and Agreed. And when your shirt is long enough to cover your cheap yoga pants that show your underwear. <laughs> Yeah, they are. I don't want to see your Unless you're wearing like uh, more of a thicker brand. Unless you're wearing the expensive kind. I have a pair of Lululemon. I have a really cool pair of baggy Lululemon. A baggy. And they're 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 kind of like nylon. They're really cool. I feel like that's the time. Working out and you have a shirt that covers your man to man. Yeah, please. Can I ask you? You feel okay wearing Lululemons? You, you feel secure what? in your masculinity? I did oh. it. To, I did it to impress a girl. Okay. Because I knew, you know. And then when I went into the Lululemon store, these dudes I saw there were like all six yeah. foot four buff, oh, they look gorgeous good women. No, I just, I did it. I, yeah, I did it. I did it just to impress her, just to have the thing. And no, I didn't get the stretch on pants, so you can see my, you know, tidy whities But sure. they're, they're, they're like this. They fit like this slack. But you know, you got yeah. that Lululemon. They're like they're like get joggers. your cup of coffee. Yeah. They're like get joggers. a cool, you know, uh, Trinity bar T-shirt or sweatshirt. But they're real light feeling, right? Yeah, they're, they're, they're good. easy to move in them. So I got a pair of golf pants, Nike golf pants that are like that, where I was like astounded by how comfortable they were. Mm -hmm. See, and don't you want to be comfortable, especially if you're playing golf for four hours? You know, you don't want to be wearing slacks. I play and really everything. bad in pants, actually. I play much better in cargo play. shorts. Yeah. I busted the shorts back you, out yesterday because the weather's finally in warm the pocket. <laughs> keep whatever you want in those pockets. <laughs> oh That's but, but, but you know what? Yours are probably just as comfortable. I did it for the brand. Yeah. Okay. Well, I needed. I wanted to impress her. I mean, I married her. 
But I have a lot of guy friends Everybody. that have switched over to Lululemon, and they said they are so comfortable. They love them, and they just and they yeah, fit well. Yeah, but and I mean, yeah, forty dollars for a pair of sweats. Yeah, it, come on. But if you're only gonna buy the one or two pairs and keep, and they I mean, they last time. because they're good quality. But you gotta hang dry them. Now let me ask you this: If you're not a huge fan of the yoga pants, would you wear like the? Oh, I'm the, a big fan the, of yoga pants on ladies. <laughs> huge well, fan. Sure. I'm just saying on guys. I'm not focus, so sure about focus it. Focus on the question. Yeah, right. But so would you wear them like underneath? Basketball clarify. shorts or something like if it was cold, would you wear like the tight? I make fun of those guys. Yeah, yeah. Okay. The I, think guys. Look, I think they look great. On yeah. the right guy, I, on the right guy, sure. Like skinny guys, skinny guys with the chicken legs, and they wear like the under the underpants. And they like you can see their little calves. But, but I'm I'm a I'm kind of a big fella. I was built for comfort, not for speed, and and I can't wear those pants underneath. Okay. That would just feel too very big. restrictive okay. to me. I got just my curious. legs are too big for just that. Funny story. Like after I, slim them out, you know. It may be. Push it all in. And after I got with the girl, I gained. Love about it. 20 pounds, and I couldn't fit into my my yoga pants anymore. So. Oh, that's a sad day when you can't well, fit in your Lululemons, Jimmy. Well, well, it's a sad day when you put on your. Paul, oh, get over pants. here! Help me! Oh. You know, it's like yoga pants and brunching. Well, I don't want to be in yoga pants after I've had champagne because everything's right, right. just like ballooning. And yeah, well, whenever around. I wear yoga pants, I always tie a shirt. See, or like a sweater oh, or something, something. Oh. to right, like hide, the flannel. You know, yeah, See, the hind quarters. The front, yeah. yeah, you know, just everything so, so it's covered. So, up. real quick, one more about yoga pants. So, yeah, uh, for for the unindoctrined and and for my own curiosity, what's the difference in, in yoga pants in like a pajama pant? And I've seen both in airports. Are either acceptable in airports? Well, so it's hard to differentiate now because of all the crazy right. patterns that people are are wearing. Like Zubaz, like they kind of they're more right, or like less yoga pants, right? So, yeah. yeah. So it's hard to it's hard to determine. But, but yeah. I think airports a good place traveling. Oh, heck like yeah. yoga pants for sure. Like, but don't don't wear then a tank top that's like spilling out everything. Like just keep, be comfortable, but don't be. You can wear a polo shirt with yoga pants. I've oh, done that. Yeah. It's great. There's a whole like online like community dedicated to calling out the people you see at Walmart, like people in Walmart.com. Oh, oh, I think it's yeah. actually the name yeah, of the I thing. Yeah, I think you're right. Um, and, and so I'm always baffled by the, the attire there. that people choose to wear in public there. And, and that's where you get a lot of the pajama oh, pants shoes. and a lot of the, yeah, the see-through tank tops. And you also get this. The other comment I wanted to address this morning. Okay. Um, what are acceptable shoes for males? Can you get away with sandals? See a lot of sandals at Walmart in your pajama clothes. <laughs> JQ, you ever wear sandals out in public as a man? Flip flops all the time. All the same. That's all I do. I, I do too. I got a pair of. Yeah. I guess they're yeah. called thongs. Yeah. But, but, thongs I, but I wear old those. school yeah. thongs. Chunkless. Chunkless. We call them chunkless. I think that men should absolutely be able to wear sandals out and about, whatever. Maybe the workplace is kind but of a confined to area. I think closed-toed shoes yeah. at work, unless you work at like a beach hut. Men tend to have stinky feet, so <laughs> we don't really want to smell. I don't know what men you're dating. Yeah, you've been sniffing what a lot of weird sandals? feet. What about those sandals? They yeah. remind me of older I haven't men's been sandals. They like have the strap here and a strap here. Oh. Yeah. Those, I don't think You hating on old guy shoes? Like kind of, like, not Birkenstocks, but kind of. They have Velcro, too. You okay, so my, my stepdad wears it. Happy birthday, <laughs> Carmine, by the way. Happy birthday. He wears those, um, like, around the house and stuff, so he doesn't have to do the socks and the shoes yeah. because nobody wants to wear socks and shoes all day long. But uh, a friend of mine, we'll say, dated a guy who never, ever, ever, ever wore sandals, even to the pool. And it's like... Okay, I'm ready to go. It's freezing. You're trying to do a hot sandals tip. Or it's like put your sandals on and let's go. No, no, socks, shoes. Got to tie them, double knot them. Like oh, this is gonna take. I gotta long. ask you. I gotta ask you guys. Was something. his name Melvin? And you know, <laughs> no, don't, that's, that's close. What if Melvin's watching us. Sorry, Melvin. Melvin. I gotta ask you guys. Is it okay for men to wear sandals with jeans? Yeah. Because I think Arizona's climate, yeah, flip flops. Absolutely. I feel like Arizona's climate lends itself to that. I went out in public with jeans, a t shirt, and flip flops. Yes. Yes. I didn't want to put shoes and socks on. Smart. I wasn't walking a tremendous distance. I wanted my, my piggies to get some air, you know? I, I think that's totally fine. Okay, so that is acceptable. And I, Charleston I'm not, I'm said no croc time, shoes, <laughs> please. No Those crocs, are grandma yeah, crocs, shoes. Oh, crocs are gross. People love their crocs. Um, I love the crocs with yeah. socks. And I was like, oh, Gail said AZ sandal world, but better have a pedicure. So you can yeah. wear sandals in Arizona, but you better have a pedicure. Yeah, but have your feet looking nice. Right. I got these flip flops There's and they no got air. There's no shame in They're pedicure air, so they game. never blow out. Yeah. And my son got them for me for Father's Day, and they also got a, a beer uh, opener on the bottom so they can pop watch. Oh, Nice. These shoes right I think there. those like reef. I yeah, think yeah, they're reefs. Yeah. Heck reefs? yeah. They're oh my really gosh, good. I had to have a pair of rainbows in high school. Guess what? Never got them. They're too expensive. What are rainbows? What, what the are rainbow they? sandal brand, like I'm the real nice like leather. They're they're more popular in California, okay. I guess. But 
Oh, everybody had them, and I, I wanted them so bad. But they're expensive. And I'm like, you know what? I get the two for three at Old Navy. I get the Tevas, the too. The best. Thing. Tevas. Yeah. I like them when they're really spongy, and you just kind of, yeah. they don't fit work your foot in. yet, and you work them in. What about the sandals, the little things they give you when you do get a pedicure? The oh, little, yeah. <laughs> you're wearing the paper. The toe separators. <laughs> yeah. uh, those are kind of weird looking. I've, I've went to the grocery store in those. I have, too. Because you're like, like, well, oh, right I here. can do something and get something, and then I have them on. Plus, they're still drying. And then I laugh because sometimes they put little cotton in between your toes, and then I'll be walking, and it's like, bloop, bloop. <laughs> <laughs> Just leaving remnants behind. Flying out. I'm like, oh. Uh, two quick comments to get to, and then we got to move along. we got a lot of show uh, crammed into a short window here today. Uh, Sebastiana says, hi, I enjoy you guys we enjoy you too uh, we love the positive feedback thanks for stopping by the comment section and uh, Charleston says good morning from Tuba City rain hey. rain more rain JQ when's the rain stopping real fast it goes all day uh, probably late tomorrow afternoon it pulls okay. out you so know. get the umbrellas out today up to an inch Thursday yeah up to an inch here in the valley oh, wow. oh I'm I look love at the director this. Craig coming through I with the seven this. day yeah Craig's from Rhode Island they don't mess around up there he's uh, he's up from Patuxet Rhode Island yeah, uh, kind of way of Pawtucket and all those areas. Yeah, anyway, Pawtucket. 62 there. up there by Worcester, you know, by, by, by Foster Gloucester. You know where that is. Uh, great on. great Lululemon weather up there. Not bad. This is good stuff. Uh, you're going to have the booties on at least till Thursday. And then Saturday to the weekend, good stick ball out at the park. 75 <laughs> for Saturday, Sunday, 79. A uh, pretty good day out there by the bottom. So we have the green light to wash our cars on Thursday. Yep. Okay. And so look, at least the Valley freeways are drying up a little bit because this, the green, the big parts of green on the map is showing where there's still wet areas around the valley. And so earlier this morning, it was covered all over from the east to the west. So now it's starting to dry out on the yeah, valley. Yeah, traffic's freeways. going good. All right. Another thing for you guys to talk about our ICYMI, in case you missed it this morning on Today in AZ. We didn't have a ton of time to talk about this on air, but that's the beauty of this situation. First, watch this video and then generate your own thoughts. You can now 3D print sushi. Oh, come on. Yes, sushi, a Japanese company debuting their machine at South by Southwest in Austin, Texas. But if you want to sample the sushi, you have to provide a few things first. Like raw fish? No, not even. The company behind the machine collects a saliva number one or number two sample from you. And oh, a number it. one and number two. Oh, I see. Like to a bathroom sample. Right, to determine what your diet is lacking. Mm. The printer then tailor makes your sushi to make sure every bite is suited for your dietary Ooh. needs. The Tokyo restaurant is set to open next year, which begs the question, would you eat 3D printed food? I got a hot take on this. You ready for this? Yeah. I think that we are approaching a future in which most of the meat that we eat will be synthetic. Oh. And, and I'm okay with that. Because I'm not going to know the difference. At some point, the proteins that are generated in a lab will be no different than the ones that we're taking from livestock. I, I know we're not there yet, but this is something that like science has been working toward for a long time as a more sustainable model to eat meat. Right. Because it's not really sustainable for our planet to eat the amount of meat that we do, especially as Americans. This is the alternative, and it sounds gross now, but eventually it won't sound as gross. It'll be more mainstream. But what about our bodies? Will we be able to handle that? Even it's though, exactly the same. You know, I don't the know. The chemical composition is exactly the same. Okay. That's a good point. What do you guys think about Soylent Green? Yeah, it's people, right? Yeah, people. Yeah. It's people. Eating people. Soylent Green is people. It's people. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> we're all, we're all, oh, the people. Oh, okay. oh, oh. It's a future. They run out of food in this movie, and uh, Charlton Heston's the main dude, and he, they have this new product called Soylent Green that everyone gets their protein, and he finds out at the end that it, they're people. They're killing oh. people. <laughs> just, just. Uh, we were saying off air uh, in the commercial break right after that segment that I heard from someone, This is, and I don't want to get sued for slander or something here, one of, those, one of those rumors that you hear that some of Chipotle's farms uh, use uh, human fertilizer, let's what? say, uh, waste products to fertilize their fields, which might help explain some of the E. coli outbreaks. Again, this is just one of those rumors, so sure. don't sue me. Um, well, I eat Chipotle every weekend. Anyways, that I That was my response. I, I was like, I don't really care. I, I, I waited <laughs> one hour in line on Saturday at the downtown city of yeah. Chipotle because all the what? Billy Joel fans were in line getting There's food. There was a Billy Joel show on Friday. There was, yeah, there was yeah, a big yeah, Billy Joel concert. But so I one hour. Like, bye. Nope. One, I, I love it. You I love fresh it every once too. in a while. And then, yeah, the turnover on the mm -hmm. food was good. But if you get one of those chewy bites, you got to be like, oh. <laughs> Ugh. I don't. I don't care what they're using as fertilizer. It doesn't bother me. I'd rather have human waste than pesticides. Is that is that a weird thing to say? Hey, would, would you rather? I don't. Yes. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> that is a good. Would you rather? Did you see Billy Joel? Would I? Did you or go did see? I? I didn't go no. see. No. I just saw the people downtown. 
Yeah. There were a lot of them. It was there packed. were a lot of people. Oh, I'm with Five Dawn. guys was the same way. Everything was yeah. packed. Everything was packed. Wait, I'm with Dawn. I want the real thing. Like, yeah, Dawn. Ew, no, we thank you. Oh, yeah. But were they doing it more for like a uh, artistic? Yes, fashion? yes. Not I think like that this was less of like sustainable food, food yeah. but yeah, more like. like fresh well, I think it's more of a proof, of, a proof of concept too. Like, look, this is something that we're capable of <laughs> technologically right now, which is pretty freaking wild, if you ask me. Food, but where does the food? But even though you said it's built up the same or made the same, I still think our bodies would be like this isn't normal well it's the taste is more the problem i think than anything else because i mean like i'm not i'm no food scientist but you think about like everything is made up of very basic chemical compounds right so like the proteins in our food is made up of at the genetic level proteins that right. they can manufacture so like but getting the taste right like make it taste like sushi or make it taste like a steak that's going to be the problem especially when you know what you're eating isn't meat right. have you had that impossible burger yet no, no. What's that? see me neither but it's like it's the first burger that they say tastes like a burger that has no meat in it what it's like vegetable byproducts and things like that hmm. but it's not your like typical tofu I'll like, stick to a burger. the counter downtown actually to sells to the worry impossible about burger. It. they do okay. i think right. carl's jr is selling one now too you're sounding like some of my veggies Vegetarian friends. You I'm not, Jimmy. This. I love meat. You gotta try this. You can't even tell the difference. Like, oh, <laughs> yes, you can. All right, guys. Tofu Are you excited dogs. to try something new on the show? Yes. We haven't done a new segment since we launched Story Time back <laughs> in the day. Too. Bill in the blank. It's very simple. We're playing Mad Libs. Cool. Your first Mad Lib is related to football. Mm. It is this The Cardinals signing Terrell Suggs is blank. So for those of you, who are thinking up an answer or who have no idea who Terrell Suggs is, <laughs> allow me just a moment to fill you in. So Terrell Suggs is a defensive end slash stand-up outside linebacker. He played 16 seasons for the Baltimore Ravens in the AFC North. And after 16 years, he is finally leaving the franchise and he might be coming home. Terrell Suggs, you may recall, is actually a Chandler native. He played football at Hamilton High School, was also a standout at Arizona State, and now, according to Ian Rappaport of NFL Network, he has agreed to terms on a one-year contract to come play for the Arizona Cardinals. He's 37 in October, but Terrell Suggs has 132 and a half sacks, 13th most all-time. One more 10-sack season would have him up to sixth all-time. This is first ballot Hall of Famer type stuff. So, Jimmy, I'll start with you. The Cardinals signing Terrell Suggs is? Uh, I'm trying to think of a good word because there's b basic words. Is um, inconceivable. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it inconceivable? He just came up with a word. He doesn't even know. I thought of Princess Bride because that's all he ever said. That, that comes from Princess Bride. Inconceivable. We're off to a rocky start. Oh, there you go. Game. I'm just going to say great. That's Only what because, I was going to say. Yeah, it's that's simple, cool. but you're because walking cliche. he's from here, yeah. he's from the Valley. He's well known. I mean, we've seen him out and about eating at restaurants and places, and everybody knows who he is. It's nice. You know? You're um, a walking cliche. <laughs> and if he can end his career here where he's from, <laughs> yeah. I think that's a great idea. That's pretty cool. Uh, real quick, a couple comments before you think of yours. Uh, Daniel says it is a good signing or a good signing for leadership in the locker room. And T. Suggs is one of those guys. T. Sizzle. Uh, as he's known in, in the room, is uh, is one of those stand-up dudes that like sets an example for everyone else. Um, Laura, not a sports fan, uh, she says it's who cares. Uh, I'm not sure that's a cogent sentence, but I appreciate your efforts. Uh, Gabe, actually uh, getting a little smart on us here, signing Terrell Suggs is better late than never. Ooh. The Cardinals passed on him when he was drafted back in 2003. Ooh. It's one of those picks that has haunted the organization since then. Oh. But now if you bring him in, as Gabe says, better late than never. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I Daniel said fabulous. unpredictable. Fabulous. What's unpredictable, about, though, Daniel? Is it the, is it explain his, it. Yeah, is it his age that worries you a little bit? I'm not worried. It doesn't matter how old that guy is. He is, he is bred to play <clears throat> football, and he does it well, and he's proved it for 16 seasons with the Ravens. And if yeah. we're getting him on the tail end, I don't care. I know I mean, they people, call Cardinals a graveyard for football yeah. players. <laughs> they say Larry Fitzgerald's too old, too, but he's not. Like, I think he's still doing well. He's still one of know? the best. A graveyard? It's where police. It's like, yeah, it's like, it's like, yeah, seriously, <laughs> like their careers, their careers. It's a, it's a theoretical thing. I it's think the Arizona literally. Cardinals signing Terrell Suggs is savvy. I think that's a smart savvy. move by Steve Kine because this is not one of those moves that's going to backfire, more likely than not. I mean, you, you watch, he ends up in the news for all the wrong reasons, and I'm going to be eating crow here. Okay, well, but, but he I think he's one law, of those guys, he's a known fall. commodity. You're going to get him at a discount because he's at the twilight of his career. And he's still a guy that's going to produce, and he's going to help the next generation of pass rushers on this team become National Football League talent. 
they're going to have to address defensive end in the draft. Chandler Jones is one thing, but but they're they're going to need more guys to rush the passer, um, especially with some of their losses in free agency. Terrell Suggs is one of those guys that not only can come in and contribute right away, he's a guy that you know is going to play hurt. He's tough as nails, but he's also going to teach whatever kids they bring in how to play that position and to play it the right way. Sounds like a well, you know what that means. addition to me. Savvy, I like I'm that. I'm surprised he didn't go to the, uh, to the to the Patriots just to go get a ring, you know? T. <laughs> Suggs, uh, a little too much of a forward thinker, I think, to ascribe to the Patriot way. Let's just say that. Uh, Curtis says, unfortunate. I respect a player that sticks with his team. Oh. We'll see when he racks up three sacks in week one. How you feel about that, Curtis? <laughs> three and a half yeah, sacks, probably. Curtis. All right, done with it today in AZ After Show. We're out of time. Thanks for stopping by, and thanks for sticking with us. We love you, people. See you tomorrow.